point slope to slope intercept form. The goal of this tutorial is to be able to take an equation in point slope form, like for instance y minus 7 equals 3 times x plus 2, and then to convert that into slope intercept form. This tutorial can be found um, on our website mathwarehouse.com slash line where there's a bunch of other goodies including free worksheets with answer keys, interactive applets, and many other practice problems on this exact topic. Okay, so just a quick review. Slope intercept form looks looks like y equals mx plus b in, in its general form, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And an example of a equation and graph in, in slope intercept form is y equals 2x plus 1, where you can see 1 is the y-intercept and it's got a slope of 2. All right, today's lesson will not involve graphing. I just want to do a little refresh of slope intercept form. And this is what we want our equations to look like. And this is what our equations will um, originally look like. They'll be in point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So first off, just to be clear, the m here and the m there are exactly the same. They both represent the slope of the line. And the one difference is in the slope intercept form, we know the y-intercept and in point slope form we know some other random point x1 y1 and what we um, know from this equation is that the slope is 3 and that this line goes through the point negative 2 7 okay and it actually turns out it's, it's quite easy to convert um, an equation from point slope to slope intercept form Let's look at the first thing that uh, are some differences here. Y minus 7 equals 3 times x plus 2. As you know, may note, when you look at slope-intercept form, our goal, the y, is all alone. So one of the things we're going to have to do is, is always move this y1 to the other side of the equation to get y alone. So let's do that. We're going to move y1 over by... Let me... Y, let me rewrite this, y minus 7 equals 3 times x plus 2. Step number 1 will be to move that y1 over to the other side by adding its opposite to both sides. <coughs> and just remember when we say the opposite of negative 7, we mean positive 7. And the whole goal there was so that when we did negative 7 plus 7, that y1 term just goes away. And then we still have 3 times x plus 2 plus our 7 now. So step 1 is add y1 to both sides, add the opposite of y1 to both sides. And step 2 is to distribute the slope, or m, to x minus x1. So you end up with y equals 3x plus 2 times 3 is 6 plus 7. And the last step is to simplify. We can add those together to get y equals 3x plus 13. All right, so let's just go over the steps we did, and I'll start writing them down for the, the next set of problems. First, we added the opposite of y1 to both sides. We added 7. Then we distributed m, or 3 in this case, to both the terms in the parentheses, 3x plus 6. And then we simplified and by adding the 6 and the 7. So we now have our equation in slope-intercept form. We can see the slope is still 3, like it was in the original point-slope form. And we know that the y-intercept is 13. OK, now that we've formulated the three steps we need to do to convert any equation from point-slope to slope-intercept form, let's practice two problems. Let's convert y minus 3 equals 5 times x minus 2 to, to slope-intercept form. If you remember, we said the, add the opposite of y1 to both sides. y1 is negative 3, so its opposite will be plus 3. We're going to add plus 3, add plus 3 to get y equals 5 times x minus 2 plus 3. Step 2 is to dis distribute the slope. right? and the slope, or 5, goes to here and here. So you end up with y equals 5x. Positive 5 times negative 2 will be minus 10 plus 3. And step 3 is to simplify. And it's always these two terms that we usually need to deal with. So y equals 5x minus 7.
All right, so this is a slope of 5, like our original one, and a y-intercept of negative 7. OK, let's try this equation. y plus 2 equals 11 times x minus 4. You know the deal. Let's add the opposite of y1. Opposite of 2 is minus 2, minus 2. So we end up with y equals 11 times x minus 4, minus 2. Distribute the slope. So you end up with y equals 11x. 11 times minus 4 is going to give us minus 44, minus 2. Simplify, and you end up with y equals 11x minus 46. Okay, let's try uh, problems with some fractions. That always makes things a little more difficult. Okay, let's try these two equations. Um, you've got a little fraction action in there to spice things up a little. But we're going to still do the same thing we've been doing in the past, which is add the opposite of y1 to both sides, the opposite of plus 3 is minus 3. So you end up with minus 3, minus 3. And you get y equals 1 half x plus 12 times minus 3. Distribute the slope to give you y equals 1 half x plus 1 half times 12 is 6 minus 3 simplify which always ends up being these two guys here or almost always equals 1 half x plus 3 so our final equation has a slope of 1 half and a y-intercept of 3 all right how about this here y plus 2 equals 2 thirds x minus 9 you know the deal add the opposite of y1 y1 is plus 2 its opposite is minus 2 so minus 2 minus 2 and you end up with y equals 2 thirds x minus 9 minus 2. Then we're going to distribute the slope to get y equals 2 thirds x minus 2 thirds times 9 will be 6. All right, so it's going to be minus 6 minus 2. Step 3, simplify. And you end up with y equals 2 thirds x minus 8. All right, let's maybe end with one challenge problem. Let's convert something that is in point-slope form to slope-intercept form, but we'll leave everything in algebraically, in, in algebraic terms. You'll see what I mean in one second. OK, let's convert the general algebraic point-slope equation, y minus a equals m times x minus t. This is in point-slope form, and we know that the slope is m and that it goes through some point a t. Now let's see what this would look like in slope intercept form. This is probably much more difficult than most students will have to, to do, but let's spice it up a little and try this one out. All right, you know the deal. First off, let's add the opposite of y1 to both sides, and we have minus a, so let's add a on to both sides, and you end up with y equals m times x minus t plus a. And step two is to distribute the slope to both sides. So you have y equals mx minus mt plus a. Step three is to simplify it, but we can't really do much right now. I mean, normally this whole thing here is a number, because t is normally an integer, is some number, m is some number, and this would simplify to be um, some number. So that's it for converting point slope form equations to slope intercept equations. Feel free to visit our website mathwarehouse.com slash line for other practice problems, interactive applets, and worksheets with answer keys. Thanks a lot.